The Missouri Chamber of Commerce says crime and daycare are impacting the state's workforce. Our Missouri Chief Capital Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains how the end of the past legislative session impacted possible solutions. It's a top concern for Missouri businesses, workforce, and a big hurdle is the lack of child care providers or the cost of having someone watch your kid. Add that in with the state having the fourth highest rate of gun deaths in the country. And the Missouri Chamber of Commerce says the business industry is hurting. If you could have told me three to five years ago that public safety and child care would be priorities of the business community, I would be surprised. A major concern affecting the state's economy. I was told that on the fourth floor of a company in downtown St. Louis, we are taking fire on, on our fourth floor, whether it's St. Louis, Kansas City, Springfield, even Joplin. The, the crime is, is pervasive. That's impacting businesses staying and coming to Missouri. You don't want to have a reputation as a state that it's a dangerous place to live and work. The Missouri Chamber of Commerce says another issue, employers are having a hard time finding workers. So we're trying to create incentives so that it makes it easier for employers either to band together and offer a child care program or gives an incentive to, to the parent to afford or access child care. According to the chamber, the state's economy lost out on more than $1.3 billion last year due to a lack of child care. And the solution to incentivize employers and workers to find care died in the Senate. That was teed up on the last day of session, but unfortunately there was a, a series of filibusters. The chamber says it was happy one piece of legislation didn't make it across the finish line, a bill that would have prohibited businesses with diversity, equity and inclusion policies from working with the state. Where does the state go to get its electricity? How do you perform education? How do you build roads and bridges? Because a lot of the companies that do these things have a DEI policy. But something everyone seems to be calling a win this year, the expansion coming to Interstate 70 from Wentzville to Blue Springs. But that sends a clear message that we're going to take care of our infrastructure. We're going to make sure that we're able to be the logistics and distribution hub of not just the Midwest, but for the country and the continent. The Missouri Chamber of Commerce says that those child care tax credits will be a big priority next year. Earlier this summer, Governor Mike Parson told me that it was a disappointment that the legislation didn't make it across the finish line this past session. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.